We have to talk about Creo. This is the world's first AI native app builder. Imagine describing a tool in plain English and getting a full stack web app right back in a matter of minutes. I'm talking front end, back end, and a database ready to use. That is exactly what Creo does. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. I'll show you how it works. This is Creo, a vibe coding platform that lets non-technical people build functional full stack applications simply by chatting with AI. But Creo doesn't stop at building apps for humans, it builds apps for AI. These AI native apps can be directly accessed and operated by AI assistants like Cloud through a simple MCP configuration. Now, why does this matter? Well, it basically changes everything when it comes to developing with AI. Rather than asking an assistant to search the web for open files, you can ask it to run your custom app, your personal workflows, dashboards or tools and get precise, actionable results. It's like turning your chat interface into a command center for all the things you do every single day. This is an example of a marketing analytics one that someone made, and this looks fantastic. Now, Creo is powerful because it combines a few core capabilities. One, you describe your exact problem in plain English. Creo creates a tailored full stack app. Two, every app is AI native by design, meaning built in AI assistance and agentic features. Three, each app can be easily integrated into cloud using NCP configuration so your assistant can call it directly. And finally, four, the apps connect easily with other tools and APIs. Number four, apps can easily connect to other tools and APIs. And finally, number five, projects can be shared and used across your team. So lots of promise from this AI platform. Let's actually go in here and build something. I'm gonna try and keep this step-by-step -step so you can follow it yourself. But let's say you want a lightweight meeting summary tool that accepts meeting notes, extracts action items, stores them in a table, and lets your assistant fetch today's unresolved actions, and lets your assistant fetch today's unresolved actions. I'll tell Creo that now in a plain language, and it will create that app for us. But let's say we want some more customization in our apps here. Creo actually do this incredibly well with all of their integrations. So let's give this another go. So here we've actually typed in generate a single file, highly responsive React application using Tailwind CSS. This daily meeting organizer app must allow users to track today's meeting schedule by adding, editing, and deleting entries. Each entry requires a time, topic, and attendee list, and the app must feature a simple filter function. Now I'm pretty happy with that. Let's press start building. And here we can see it's preparing app. It's currently thinking and then it's going to be finding the relevant integrations that we need to make this app function. So here we've got a few, we've got Google Calendar, Google Sheets, and a bunch more. Of course, this is a meeting app, so let's throw in Google Calendar here. Next, it's come up with a product brief. So we can read this and then approve it. And then after some time, we can see that it's actually created the base layer for our app here. So we've got the preview up right now. We can actually look at today's meetings, we can add a meeting, but I think we can do a bit more here. Yeah. So I'm going to type in add an alarm option reminder, note taking, etc., and a few more to make it more user friendly. And we press enter and let this work its magic. We can see it's actually come back with a slightly different layout here, much more user friendly UI. And we can see here, we do also have a lot more data and stats here in the app. So let's go ahead and test this. What we can do, we can first of all change it to light or dark mode if we want, but we can also use the search function to search search through our meetings if we want. Let's go with add meeting. We can set a time for this meeting and notice how it's all super user friendly. Set the time there. The reminder, we can set 10 minutes and the notes for the meeting as well, as well as the ability to enable alarm and reminders. So it's basically taken what we've said and done it seamlessly. And we've added this alarm. We can see the stats have actually changed here. So it's a fully working app. Now I'm gonna add a few more changes to this, but the reason why this works so well, guys, is because it's basically a custom full stack using AI. So you've got the front end, the back end, 
and the database side all in one AI native app. So we can see here, we've asked it to add a bit more. And as you can see, the meeting we put in earlier, that has now appeared at the bottom. So we can check this meeting and it's going to go into more details. We can edit the meeting if we want as well by changing the date there. And as you can see, it's got the date, it's got the time, it's got the attendee amounts and the notes in that section easily. We also have active upcoming and completed filters on this purely from the few prompts that we've put in. Now let's go to integrations. Here we can actually add different integrations as well as custom servers. Some of these include things like Slack, Google Calendar as we've seen, GitHub, if we want and much more. We can also see in the plan section here, guys, that yes, we can edit that plan very easily depending on the project that we're making. But overall, I would say the prices are incredibly cheap compared to actually hiring developers to build something like this yourself. Now, another cool feature here, guys, is that you can actually share the project if you want as well. So you can click the share button, you can add people via email, and you can allow people to view it or even edit it. We can also go into the manage roles section and see we've got admins, users, and viewers. So depending on who you're showing this to, you can change this with a lot of customization. Now, my honest expectations here are that this isn't just a magic app that replaces design thinking or domain knowledge. You still guide the app's purpose and verify outputs. But what Creo does is remove the heavy lifting. It removes infrastructure, wiring, and basic logic so you can focus on the real problem solving. But what Creo does is actually just remove the heavy listing. So infrastructure, wiring, basic logic is all taken care of by the AI so you can focus on solving real problems and saving time. If you're curious, try Creo for yourself. Build an AI native app, connect it to cloud via MCP and see how your chat assistant becomes a command center for your tools. Start for free at creo.ai and experiment with simple, useful tools. You'll be surprised how quickly you can go from idea to working app like I've done today. So definitely check out Creo because it's built for humans to build AI. So definitely go and check the link in the description because Creo is built for humans and built for AI. You can create something that your assistant can actually use. That's going to be it for me. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one.